Next up, up, we're going to Omaha. Fantastic. Excellent. For what looks like a New York deli sandwich, mm. but from Canada. A dude from Montreal making Canadian smoked meat in Omaha, Nebraska. It's definitely more than I expected. That all makes sense to me. Perfectly juicy, thin slice, back real high. Or a spicy smoked deli meat. It's already up there. That owner Eve Minard grew up eating in Canada. I got you. A local favorite created in Montreal's Jewish immigrant community in the late 1800s. I miss my smoked meat sandwich that we have in Montreal. Hey. So we opened this joint to serve his childhood favorite. Oh, well, that's on your name. And a few other things, like burgers and beer. So they called this place Brew Burgers. A dude from Montreal making Canadian smoked meat in Omaha, Nebraska. It's an old fashioned brisket sandwich. Cured in a brine like corned beef and smoked like pastrami. That all makes sense to me. Just amazing flavors. So we're going to get that Ryan started frog powder, which is salt with the dextrose in there. Kosher salt. Standard pickling, pickling spice. Pickling spice with some peppercorns, fennel, and mustard seed, and a little bit of bay leaf. And a little bit of clove. So we'll give that a minute. That's not your eighth grade dance fruit punch. So we're using brisket with the cap on. Get them ready to go underwater. Uh, one important step is to keep the meat against the meat and the fat against the fat. The fat were to be touching the meat. It's too hard to penetrate. Through the fat into the that. Fat into the meat. How do you like your little lab class? And you have to have enough water to cover it. You got to submerge it. Okay, let's put these away. And they'll cure in the cooler up to five days till they're done. So you always have these things in rotation. You've got one going, a couple day, couple today, day, couple day. Everybody's... Today, yesterday, the day before yesterday. It's that popular of an item that you're running this thing through all the time. When you you're out, two or three days ahead of time. they're grumpy. Is it ready? So almost every day you make one? Every day we make one. Right out here in the parking lot. What kind of wood are we smoking with? Just maple. It's, it's a pellet, a pellet smoker. smoker. These little processed wood pellets, they feed automatically. It gives a nice consistent product. So what, about an hour and a half? Hour and a half. So now we're going to pull them and go in the oven with them. 250 for three hours. Let them cool. Till the next day. Cold, ready to go. Look at that. One to slice and one to take home as a souvenir? You bet. So you're separating the cap from the flat. It's like pennies from heaven. If that's how good that is cold. You're going to really like it warm. You're ready to roll. Is that a sandwich? Half pound sandwiches. So now this is going to steam? Yes, sir. This is a high power microwave. There's water in there, and that creates our steamer. I like that little trick. Some Montreal Jewish rye bread. Turn on smell of vision. Ah, that's good. That's made for us right here in town with well prepared mustard. Half pound, you ready? All yours. The jowls, they start going. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. As you can see from my six consecutive bites, I don't like it. That's great, man. Well, that's the cousin of corned beef and pastrami that lives in Canada. It's perfectly juicy, melts in your mouth, very tender. It's got the thing you love about corned beef and the things you love about pastrami. A little smoke from the pastrami, a little bit of the brine from the corned beef. And then the secret, of course, a little bit of mustard. Oh, yeah. You're getting full already. I only ate half of it. I wouldn't even have anything else on the menu. I thought of that. But it is brew burger. Perfect burger. Done all kinds of ways. It's not a cheeseburger, it's a blue cheese and bison burger. I'm having a blue jay burger with mushrooms and blue cheese and crispy fried onions. We're going to take this beef, mix it with pan sliced portobellos, and we're going to fix you a burger. Wow. Crispy mushroom on the outside. And nice sucking and soft mushroom in the middle. There you go. Really nice burger. Feta Havarti. And there's a tuna burger. Go ahead. A salmon burger. Two of everything. Fresh guacamole. Hand cut rings. They're amazing. And homemade soup. I find it to be really unique. You make handmade food. We got guys that went to chef school, so we created a step above. So you make fresh pesto for a salad that comes to the side. Correct. I like the way you roll. And it's all being served up at a sports bar. You don't expect to get this type of food. Two orders of nachos. Cajun nachos, which have alligator in them. They're excellent. You just don't find good alligator every day now, do you? Not in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> alligator bites are awesome. Yeah. Now, is this tenderloin? One foot section of the tail, supposedly the least toughest part of the alligator. And this breading we make homemade, too. It's got salt and pepper and paprika, and we put a little baking powder in there to give it that crispy outer shell. We're going to put that in some buttermilk. So you're doing a little wet hand, dry hand here? Wet hand, dry hand. We're going to fry this. And what you get served with? We're going to give you a little ginger sauce. Alligator and ginger. Yeah. Sounds like a dance duet. Mmm, that's good. Oh, really good. Nice texture, fantastic batter. The alligator. Oh, that's different. Well, we go the extra mile but to not be like everybody else. With one exception. We're going to need some cheese. It's a burger he was inspired to make after Triple D discovered it at a joint in California. So you like it so much that you come back to your own restaurant and you put it on the menu when we come back. Mmm.
old fashioned. Crew Burgers in Omaha, Nebraska is doing the sports bar things their own way. You don't expect to get this type of food. Like a French Canadian version of a New York deli pastrami sandwich. Mmm. Sorry, you're dynamite. Alligator bites. So good. And serious burgers. Mm. Even varied with cheese. It's really good. Like the one we first discovered in Sacramento, California at a joint called the Squeeze In. That's a Squeeze In burger for sure. <laughs> That's the key. I'm going to throw a little more ice on there. All it's going to do is generate steam, throw it on top, and then you're going to put the hood on. on now, where, where does all the cheese go with it? Oh, Coming over hot. Good, man. Perfect. Well, you see the cheese just hangs out here. With the cheese skirt and the whole thing? The cheese skirt and the whole thing. You've really been there? I've really been there. So you like it so much that you come back to your own restaurant and you put it on the menu and call it the Cheesy Sacramento. It's worth the wait. You need the place. Half pound, 80-20. Certified Angus. A little salt, no pepper when it's cooking? No salt, no pepper. Just let it be. Let it be good stuff. Some of that California cheddar. And that's enough cheese. Oh. Because I'm telling you. All right. There we go a little more. Now, do you do the whole thing with throwing the ice in there and the whole deal? Can't afford the ice. No, really? Ice is a premium here. So a little bit of water. Water. Still get kind of the same idea. Can we check it? Almost. You ready? Almost there. So you see the skirt starting to build. See? You ready? She's there. Huh? That's approved right there. Excellent skirt. Excellent tribute. Juicy, salty, nice bun, not overcooked, great meat, six bucks on Wednesday. I don't have anything else to say. Quite a bit of cheese. Really good. And different. We want it to be a special place for burgers. For Sacramento. We wanted to have a reputation for doing stuff the right way. The old fashioned Swiss is definitely more than I expected. Do you want this nacho working? From alligator to the Canadian smoked meat sandwich. I think when people think they come to Omaha, they're getting steak and potatoes. And granted, right. this may be meat and potatoes, but it's sure on a different scale. That's exactly right. What's the size on that Swiss? Will the menu continue to evolve? It'll always change. Why? Uh, I like to travel and then find something new somewhere. Maybe Sacramento, maybe Montreal. Oh, it's in there. So that's it for this trip. I'll see you next time on Triple D, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I'm feeling comfortable up at this height. Dun, 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 dun,